Hey everyone, I'm Holly Wangierski with Suburban Canine. There are a lot of different prong collars on the market. Today we're going to be reviewing the Herm Springer brand black stainless steel prong collar. You can see this is a size 2.25 millimeter. We like to classify this as our small prong. So there's a couple of different metal options. This is the black stainless steel. They also have a silver alloy metal. That's steel as well. It has a nickel base. And so we're gonna kind of be comparing the two today. So here I have both collars. Here is the silver nickel based prong collar and then here is the black stainless steel. A little bit of differences between the two. The black one works really well if you have a dog with lighter hair color. So the silver tends to be one that will oxidize and then if your dog has a lighter color hair, it'll cause a slight discoloration, almost a silverish color. And a lot of our clients don't like that because then they're like, oh my gosh, I gotta give my dog a bath. So often I'll suggest the black prong or prong over that. Now the silver is at a much better price point than the black collar. So the black collar can be anywhere between $45 and $65 on Amazon, whereas this one right now is priced around $29. So you can see that there's a big price difference between the two, but if you definitely don't care about your dog having changed hair color, if you have a lighter color dog, this one is probably a better fit versus if you're like, hey, let's ball out, let's get a more expensive collar, let it be low profile as well. It's not as obvious. If you have a prong collar on your dog, you could stick with the black prong collar. Another thing as well to keep in mind is the black collar works really well if you have a dog that has skin sensitivities. So with the nickel based collar, a lot of dogs have skin sensitivities to nickel. So the black collar usually does a lot better with their skin, doesn't cause any irritation. So that's another reason where the black one may be a lot better than the silver. Now, another thing to keep in mind when using this prong collar, it still has the tightening capacity just as this one does as well. Tug, release, it gives a uniform tug all throughout. The prongs still do go in both different directions, so it's uniform there too. But the, this metal, if you squeeze it, has a little bit more you know, give and whatnot. So if I'm squeezing this too hard, you might bend the link. So I usually am a little bit more delicate when I use this. I pop it in and out. It actually pops in and out a lot easier than the silver one. So you just gotta be a little bit more gentle. If you have this one, you might need to squeeze a bit more firmer. I could really tell the difference actually. So here I have to squeeze a lot more to get it out and then squeeze to pop it back in. One suggestion we often have to our clients is to avoid removing from this end link here and then same thing goes for this end link here. The reason being is you could purchase separate links on Amazon as well. So if this one end one gets bent over time, you almost have to replace the entire collar. Whereas it's a lot easier to buy a couple of links online, replace the middle ones if they get tarnished over time. So definitely be a lot more careful when removing the links on this one. You don't want to be the Hulk and squeeze as much as you can and then boom, the link's bent and it's easier to pop on and off. A good rule of thumb is before you use the collar, every couple of weeks, double check that the links aren't popping out by moving the collar like this. If a link pops out very easily when you move it up and down, just like this, that's not a good sign and I would definitely replace that link or remove it. So I wanna show you the black Herm Springer prong collar on Mr. Mookie here. So he's very happy and excited to be a guest. As you can see, Mookie, out, out, good boy. We're gonna wait for that, okay, stay. So I'm going to put it on him right on top of his flat collar and just like that. So you could see it's pretty low profile with his hair and it's not as noticeable. I'm also going to test out our silver one so you can see the difference between the two. And you can see I'm going to rotate it a bit. There we go. And his hair honestly covers it so it's not as obvious. That's right. Okay, you want your toy again? Okay, here you go. Thank you. Bye. Free. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to test out the silver nickel plated prong collar. So this one, as you can see, it's pretty shiny. It's almost blinding. So I'm going to put it on him. We also got a separate toy this time. You've got to wait for that, sir. I know. And I'm going to make sure it's untangled. Put it on him. And there we are. You can see it's a little bit more obvious for sure. So definitely shinier, 
not as low profile as the black. So if you do have a lighter color dog, um, you know, the metal won't be good with this collar. So with that, the black one will probably be a better fit for changing the colors and whatnot. And then the other thing to keep in mind as well, you know, the black one's better if you have a darker color dog too, because it just matches with the hair. Um, Mookie, sir, just a reminder, this is a size 2.25. So this is what we like to classify in our company as a small prong. If you go with the 3.0 or 3.25 millimeter, that is a medium. Here you go. Good boy. Thanks for helping. We hope that you enjoy Herm Springer prong collars and the black stainless steel as much as we do. If you're interested in purchasing his tail, hit the tripod. If you are interested in purchasing, definitely check out the link below our video. Thanks for watching.